we headed out of the mountains and we got to see a little bit of fall whoop whoop on our way to Roswell, New Mexico. After arriving in Roswell, I took a quick bike ride and then we ended up at the UFO Museum. It's $5 to get in, not a bad price. It's a lot of reading and some videos with some of these little uh, things to see. Not really my favorite museum. I'm not big into reading a ton of stuff as being dyslexic, it's not very pleasant. But I spent about 30 minutes in here checking things out. After the museum, we headed on over to a park we found to hang out. In the evening, I was going to do some DoorDash for some food and gas money. We came to Roswell to get some work done, so we spent the night at the local Walmart. And the next morning, we headed to the library, which some libraries have really great study rooms. This was one of them. The internet wasn't so great, but the study room was great. Then we headed on for a drive to look for a free uh, camping spot, which happened to be underwater, unfortunately, but it was a beautiful little drive before I spent another evening doing DoorDash. It's always important to get Yoska and Ezzy out at the park as much as I can when I'm not working and we're in towns. Ezzy can't be out so much because of dogs off leash, but at least we get to spend some time outside together. After DoorDash, another night at the Walmart. And sometimes when we've been in towns too much, it gets a little crowded in Tic Tac for some reason, but we make it work. The next morning, it was time to move on, so we headed south. The next town south had another public library, great new library, and it actually had fast internet and a study room. Score, 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 so we got our work done. We headed out to this free camping spot for a few days 
to relax and enjoy ourselves away from people. There was only one other camper there and some dirt bikes came at one point in time for a couple hours, but it was quiet, cold, but quiet. And we enjoyed good ourselves. Good boy, Yoska, not going after those quail. That was good boy. It's a bit windy out here, so Essie has her small little place to roam around in, which sometimes she doesn't like because she likes to be next to us, but we can't have the big clam thing open today. is maybe 50 if we're lucky we're charging yo-yo's over here we cleaned out tic tac and weasel diesel today as he's stretching out her legs we've got so much space and we're staying warm because we're not out on the motorcycle in the freezing cold look at that sky it like goes on forever life is pretty good There's Miss Ezzie picking away. We put her over there because she's out of the wind the most, right in between Bleasel and Tic Tac. She hates being in the wind. So she's just hanging out. She'd rather be right here next to us, but right there, she's better. She's a good little chicken. very cold night like in the 20s so we came into the car and I taught Yoska all about heated seats they're pretty fabulous aren't they baby boy it was so cold in Tic Tac last night that their water bowl froze The wind died down so I could bring Ezzy out more into the sun to stay nice and warm.
Then it was time to head into Carlsbad, get some laundry done, and do some more DoorDash. As Imeralda at Lake Carlsbad Beach Park in the town of Carlsbad, New Mexico. We spent every chance we could get at this park in Carlsbad. It goes all the way down through the lake and it hits multiple other little parks. Great little place to hang out. While waiting for an order to come through on DoorDash, this guy came up to the car and said that we could stay the night in the parking lot at this hotel he's been working on. So we spent the night there, actually two nights there, while we worked DoorDash during the day and early evenings. On our breaks from DoorDash, we ended up back at the park. Another walk, Miss Ezzy. How you doing, Miss Ezzy? Good to be out of the car. Mr. Yo-Yo Man. He's ready for some hot skippity walking. We had a pretty good weekend with DoorDash, making about $200, spent another night at the hotel, and then we headed on out to a free campsite for the week. To help us make more videos and see some behind the scene features, join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest episodes.